So welcome to you to this amazing batch of alternator. Let me give a quick introduction about myself first, then I will go through with the topics. My name is Sarnakumar Mondal. I am lecturer of MBC Institute of Engineering and Technology. So I decided why not to take one step ahead and peek into some area of machine which have never taken as a formal session. So that is the reason why I thought taking this course of alternator. Did I take a sudden jump into this? The answer is no. I am also a government resource person who have taken thousands of sessions on these topics. And two topics are very close to my heart. One is induction motor, second one is alternator. After discussing with lots of students, I found that one thing is common for everyone. Everyone knows that machine is backbone for electrical engineering. But if I ask two or three questions, they might give me an answer. They did not give me a pinpointed answer. Okay, so I thought if I take a formal session on this, then it will be better for everyone. And lots of students said that sir, there is content in YouTube. On YouTube, pe alag -alag pe content hai. There's a, uh, for, there is no formalized content, formalized session for this. Agar koi start se padha, jaisa, school me padha jata, ABCD se, to bahut maza aa jayega. To bhai kala ki main hu na. And then I thought that I take that let design this course with uh, interview question with some numericals with theory and every will I discuss in these topics in the first video we will discuss about three topics first one is the basic principle of alternator how alternator works how electricity is produced in the alternator we'll discuss in this video second one is very important for interview most of the interviewer like to ask this question advantage of having stationary armature and the rotating field system we know that in dc machine the armature rotates and the field system is stationary but in the alternator this is reverse and why this is reverse what is the advantage this will be mainly asked in interview and third one is detailed construction of an alternator we will discuss the stator frame stator core type of stator core rotors and how many types of rotor? There are two types of rotor: cylindrical rotor and cylindrical rotor. In details in this lecture video. Now we are going to discuss about the basic principle of the alternator. Alternator are the workhorse of all power generation industries. Electricity is produced in alternator by electromagnetic induction. To generate electricity in a coil, the coil should rotate with respect to the magnetic field or magnetic field should rotate with respect to the coil. In the case of alternator, the latter approach is used. The rotor and the armature coil are the two main part of alternator. Rotor coil are excited from DC power source and magnetic flux produced around it. The rotor is made to rotate by prime mover. This makes the rotor flux also rotate with it at the same speed. The revolving magnetic flux intersect with the armature coil which is fitted around the rotor. This will generate an alternating EMF across the winding. For producing three phase armature current, three coils which are 120 degrees shifted is put in the stator winding. Generally one of this one end of these three coils are star connected and three phase electricity is drawn from the other end. Now come to the most important question for interview. Most of the interviewer asked what is the advantage of having, having stationary armature and the rotating field system. We know that in DC machine the armature rotates and the field is stationary. But why we use the stationary armature and the rotating field system in the alter alternator? This is the important question. We know that field are connected with DC supply very less 125 to 600 volt and the armature have to be withstand 30 kV. So it is easier to insulate the stationary armature winding for a AC voltage which may have as high as value like 30 kV or more. Second of all, in the sliding contact, if we put the armature on the rotor, then we have to be used sliding contact like sleep ring from a high voltage side. But if we put the rotor field contact, then it will, we have to give only 120 volt, 125 volt. So sleep ring are transferred to the low voltage side and the low power DC field winding which can be therefore easily be insulated. Third of all, the output current can be directly from the fixed terminal on the stator to the load circuit. Because if we use the armature in the rotor, then we have to collect the output, cur output current from the armature with a 
rotating part and that will be more difficult and last of all the armature winding can more easily be braced to prevent any type of deformation if we put the armature in the rotor winding we cannot brace it from deformation in desi machine the outer frame or the yoke serve to carry the magnetic flux but in alternator it is not meant for that purpose here it is used for holding the armature stamping and winding in position low speed large diameter alternator have frames which because of age of manufacture are cast in section ventilation is maintained with the help of hole cast in the frame itself the provision of radial ventilating space in the stamping assist in cooling the machine but these days instead of using casting frames are generally fabricated with mild steel plate welded together in such a way as to form a frame having a box type section <coughs> the armature core is supported by strutter frame and built up of lamination of special magnetic iron or steel alloy the core is laminated to minimize due to loss due to eddy current the lamination are stamped out in complete ring for small machine and in segment for larger machine the lamination are insulated from each other and have spaces between them for allowing the cooling air pass through it the slot or for housing the armature conductor lie along the inner periphery of the core and are stamped out with, at the same time when lamination are formed so we are now going to discuss about how many type of stator slot is used the first one is wide open type slot second one is semi closed type slot and third one is wholly closed type slot in wholly closed type closed type slot that tends to increase the inductance of the winding the armature conductor have to be threaded through thereby increasing the initial lever and cost of the winding they present uh, a complicated problem of end connection hence they are rarely used important part of an alternator is rotor rotor are two type smooth cylindrical type and second one is salient pole type the most important interview question is why low speed alternator always use salient pole type rotor and why high speed alternator use smooth cylindrical type rotor we will discuss in next slide now we are going to discuss about cylindrical rotor it is used for steam turbine driven alternator that is turbo alternator which runs at very high speed because it has less number of pole and we know that speed equal to 120 f by p as the number of pole is less speed is high the rotor consists of smooth solid four steel cylinder the central polar area surrounded by the field winding placed in the slot to avoid excessive peripheral velocity such rotor has small diameter and long axle length now we are going to discuss about salient pole or projecting pole types alternator it is used in low and medium speed alternator it has large number of projecting poles having their cores bolted onto a heavy magnetic field of cast iron or steel of good magnetic quality it has large diameter and short axle length pole and poles who are laminated to minimize the loss due to eddy current where the speed is less that is centrifugal force is low mainly in water turbine salient pole rotor is used